I wanted to make a video talking about something that I feel isn't fully understood or addressed yet. I believe it's referred to as the Sony A7S Mark II S-Log3 ISO bug. You know, I, I don't have an A7S Mark II. I've never witnessed the A7S Mark II ISO bug, but I have seen something different. Sometime back in 2014, when I picked up my camera, I was messing with changing the picture profile black level. I had a external monitor hooked up. I had a false color on, lens cap on. I set the black level to zero. And I noticed something as I was switching from profile one to two to three to four, I had a specific configuration of picture profile setups where when I would switch from one to the next, I noticed my noise would just shoot up. My, my, my noise flow would just jump for no reason. Cine three, Cine four, 800% Cine four. Cine three, Cine four, 800% Cine four. I couldn't explain it. I, I was able to recreate it over and over. I even went to NAB and I showed it to an engineer who redirected me to another one, to another one, to another one. Next thing you know, I'm talking to like all the engineers and they can't figure it out. They, I talked to the guy that designed the sensor and he had no idea what was going on. I, I, I talked to, I don't even know who he was, like some chief engineer guy. And they all seemed very concerned because it did drastically increase the noise. It made the image look way worse. Uh, and they, they didn't know why, and they were worried because anyone could accidentally recreate it. That was 2014, they never patched it. I always assumed, well, it was a very specific configuration that you have to have your picture profile in. The odds of somebody doing it on accident, probably pretty slim, so maybe it wasn't a high priority for them. But, you know, fast forward, I tinkered with it a little bit more and tried to recreate it again. I, I tried to narrow down what was going on. I know when switching between different picture profiles, different native ISOs are a thing, so the ISO will change. Going from hypergammas to Rec. 709 to S-Log or 709-800, it changes from 3200 to 200 to 100, so the ISO does shift switching between different picture profiles. So I, I was thinking, well, maybe it has something to do with the ISO setting. I tried a whole bunch of different things until I finally figured out what was going on. Keeping in mind, at this point, I did all of this without knowing anything about this A7S Mark II S-Log3 bug. From my understanding, what I briefly found on the internet, people think it's limited to the A7S Mark II only on S-Log3, but that's not the case. I'm almost confident in saying it affects all Sony Alpha cameras on any picture profile, even picture profile off, not just S-Log3, all of them. So what's going on here? Uh, I'm on the A7S Mark I, and I'm in S-Log2. All the other settings don't matter. It doesn't matter, it will happen. But I notice when switching to ISO 8000, I get some mixed results with uh, the noise of my image. So I have a lens on, stopped all the way down, looking into a dark scene under the table, and I have false color on. Let's see if I can recreate this and have you guys be able to see it on camera. I did this a long time ago with picture profiles. I had no idea what the heck was going on. Showed some engineers, but here I am now, and I can figure out how to recreate it. So I'm gonna go up to 10,000 and down to 8,000. I'm gonna go down to 6,400 and then back up to 8,000. Kinda hard to see, but again, I'm gonna go up to 10,000, down to 8,000, down to 6,400, up to 8,000, 10,000, 8,000, 6,400, 8,000. 10,000, 8,000, 6,400, 8,000. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm not a Sony engineer. I am not an expert of camera sensors, but something is happening that is changing the noise floor. It is drastically increasing the noise. This is exactly what I was noticing with the picture profiles, but it's not the picture profiles, it's the ISOs. It's not limited to, to S-Log3, it's, it's everything. It's all the alpha cameras, and it can happen with specific ISOs. I did, I did some tests, tested it on the A7S Mark I, the A7R Mark II. It happens on all picture profiles, even picture profile off. They're not always the same ISO, but there's always one ISO that has some adverse effect. In this case, A7S Mark I, S-Log II, is ISO 8000. Up to 10,000 and then back down to 8000 gives you a really clean image, but going down to 6400, and then back up to 8,000 gives you a really grainy image. I did some tests, I shot a scene, 
I shot identical exposures Sony recommended. I did a comparison between native ISO 3200. I did a comparison between 8000 dirty with the grain uh, and 8000 clean without the noisiness. I'm not really entirely sure how to, de to describe the findings. It, it, it's almost as if when it gets a cleaner image, it just kind of lops off the shadows. It's, it's like Sony decided that there's just too much noise at that point, so they just disregard everything below a certain IRE. I, I suppose it gives you a cleaner image, but then it kind of lops the shadows. The, the shadows just go black. And I'm, I'm, I was curious if maybe, because 8000 is just so clean. Like, if you look at the, the false color, it's almost as if it's cleaner than native 3200. I don't know if I could be as bold as to say that 8000 is a better native than 3200 because 3200 is pretty grainy here, but going up to 8000 just kind of resets the noise. I haven't done enough testing to be concrete. Now I'm assuming 3200 native is still better than 8000, but it's just interesting because it's it's kind of like the, the 5D or any Canon DSLR lens cap test where people determine that uh, increments of 1600 gave you way cleaner noise. So shooting at say 1250 was way cleaner than like 500. I don't know if that's exactly what's going on here, but it's, it's definitely apparent going from 6400 to 8000 it gives you a way grainier image than 10,000 down to 8,000. So these are both ISO 8,000, two totally different grain structures. I mean, this could be an issue. What if you're doing a two camera setup and camera A, you know, okay, let's go to 8,000. He goes up to 8,000 and camera B goes down to 8,000. They're going to look totally different. What if you're doing a night shoot and you're like, you know, I just need to bump it up third stop or whatever. And you end up at 8,000. If you go up to it, it's going to be really grainy. If you go down to it, it's going to be really clean. Is that better? Because it's, it's clipping the IREs at a certain point. It's just clipping off certain shadows. So would going down to 8,000 with less grain, but clipping off the blacks be better for a night shoot or worse? Is it better for a daytime shoot? Because it's just disregarding that grain. Not entirely sure. So let's say we go to Cine 4. Let's see if I can get this to do it here. Cine 4, ISO 3200, 4000, 3200, 2500, so you can clearly see that the shadows are different, the grain is different. Same ISO, 3200, just two different ways of getting there. If you go up to it, looks like that. If you go down to it, looks like that. I don't know what the ramifications of either or are, but I can see that going, uh, it looks like going up to it looks grainier, but uh, going down to it clips the blacks. You can see the blacks fall off much faster in that area. It's like, like I said before, they just kind of lop off the IRE right there. Again, this happens on all Sony Alpha cameras, not just the S Mark II. I recreated it on a S, on a uh, R Mark II. I, I could recreate it on mine. I could recreate it on any picture profile. So I'll go over to Cine 1 and it shares the same thing as uh, Cine 2. 1600, 2000, 1600, 1250, 1600, 2000. So just like Cine 4, just like S-Log, you can see that the grain changes, the blacks change, those blacks just clip really fast. So something's going on there. There's, there's definitely a bug and this could happen on any camera. This can happen at any time. Anybody could do it on accident. You know, this, this changes the way the grain is on your camera. This changes the way the blacks are. This, and this isn't an external thing. This is happening in camera. It might be recorded externally also, but it's because it's being recorded like that internally also. It's, it's a problem with the camera. You could be doing a shoot outside and your blacks could look totally different. You're, you could be doing a night shoot, your blacks could look totally different. If you're trying to match two cameras, they could be both on the same ISO, but say operator A goes up to it, operator B goes down to it, the grain's gonna look totally different. It happens on all Sony Alpha cameras, it happens on all picture profiles. It's something to look out for because from my understanding, Sony doesn't fully understand what's going on. The, the Sony community doesn't fully understand what's going on. They, from what I've seen, I could be wrong. From what I've seen, they think it's limited to the A7S Mark II on S-Log3. And they say, you know, I was reading that 10,000 ISO is really noisy. You gotta go, you gotta go down to it. It's a weird bug, but it only happens on that. It's just, you know, my solution is don't use S-Log3, just use S-Log2. It's like, that's not a solution though, because it happens on all of them, all, all picture profiles, all cameras. 
it's yeah it's it's just another thing to keep in the back of your mind when you're using sony alpha cameras there is some kind of weird noise bug not entirely sure what the ramifications are of using either end of it maybe just avoid that iso altogether or maybe going down to it is the better solution maybe going up to it is the better solution maybe one's better for day maybe one's better for night i don't have the answer for that all i know is it is apparent it is a problem not everyone knows about it hopefully this helps you Maybe this gets brought to Sony's attention and they patch it or they, they explain what's going on with it, but it is there and it is a problem. Uh, I hope this helps.